Manasu was a really interesting project because they had just been hit by a big cyclone, Cyclone Evan, and it had really trashed um, the north coast of, of Samoa, of Apollo and Savai. And this one little area of Manasu had been particularly badly hurt, and that's a real tourist sort of hotspot. And so we went there, and the first thing they were asking for was protection for their land, you know. We wanted you to build a seawall, and if you go around Samoa, there's a lot of seawall, and beaches and seawalls don't live very well together, so typically when you see a seawall, you don't see a beach in front of it anymore. There's some really nice resorts, which are, um, which are great, but they've got a seawall there, and there's no beach, so there's nowhere for people to go and sit. So we looked at all the options, and we looked at options that would provide protection for their land and also, also a beach, and we ended up... Um, we ended up coming up with a solution which was offshore breakwaters to dissipate the wave energy and to, to sort of provide a sheltered area behind and then we brought in a lot of sand that we had sourced from a from a sustainable land based source so we had taken it from another beach, robbed Peter to pay Paul. Um, we placed the, this new beach in behind the offshore breakwaters and then we had a very small wall behind that so if one day the sand does all disappear or is washed out again there will be something providing protection to that land but it's a sort of a last resort and it's substantially covered by the by the beach so we've managed to provide that resilience and the protection from, from future storms at the same time as providing you know amenities so that their livelihoods can, can go on.